So it says, uh, police car waits uh, in a speed trap. <laughs> a speeding car is spotted by the police car doing, okay. Uh, and I don't have any sense for meters per second, so I don't know how fast that is. Um, uh, actually, let me call this V1. Um, so a uh, rough rule of thumb is that if you double this number, that should be close to meters per hour. Sorry, not meters per hour, uh, miles per hour. So it should be close to 76, maybe 80 miles per hour, which isn't that fast. At the instant the speeding car passes the police car, the police car accelerates uh, from rest. So the police car will have a initial speed of zero. And this is the acceleration of the police car. To catch the speeding car, how long does the take the police car to catch the speeding car? Ah, so um, I think I'd like to sketch this out to kind of make sure that I have all the information that's needed. So it looks like um, so the way, what I'm going to sketch is I'm going to sketch the positions of the car as a function of time. So the speeding car is pretty easy to draw. It's just going to be a straight line. Uh, with the, the slope here being V1, uh, the speed at which it's going. So the police car will be accelerating from rest. So it will be starting from here. And then over time, it will be like parabolic thing. And by the time it catches, it will be going so fast, like double the speed of that. That Why don't you give a ticket to yourself? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, so this will be the kind of the... Uh, position curve for police and um, it's and this curve will be expressed by uh, equation the position is initial position was zero initial speed was zero and uh, basically all of this will be described by the acceleration component one half a t squared so and uh, I, I guess it's good to write down the equation for the speeding car speeder is the speeder's position will be, uh, let me actually call police x2, and the speeder will be x1 as a function of time will be, um, I'm just using this as my origin, so initial displacement is zero, plus initial velocity is v1 times time, and the speeder, I guess, um, doesn't know police is catching up, so it will be just, uh, <laughs> won't be accelerating, no high speed chase. So that's the equation. So I think once you sketch this out, you can kind of get a sense how to set up the equation to solve this problem. You can see two points where they intersect. And wherever these two curves intersect are the places where this value is equal to that value. So, you know, at time equals zero, they intersect. So they are at the same position. And all the time after that, they are in a different positions until when the police catch up and I guess slam into the speeding car very safely. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, so, so that's the equation I'm going to set up. I'm going to set up x1 as a function of time is equal to x2 as a function of time. Not for all time, but they will become equal at a particular moment in time, a final time. And I'll solve for that. That'll give me the time it takes for the police car to catch up to the speeding car. So let me write this out. It says, um, so V1 times T final, I'm just copying it over from here. That's going to be equal to uh, this expression, one half acceleration of the police car times T final squared. Just copying it from here. So, oh wow, really simple algebra. I think this will cancel out this. So I just have one factor of t final, which I can solve. I'm just going to do the algebra in my head. Um, if this confuses you, pause, um, do it by hand on a piece of paper slowly. Um, doing algebra in your head is not required. I'm just doing this to save time so that I can do other questions. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, let me, uh, since I have Wolfram Alpha already, let me just uh, continue to use that as my calculator. Um, or, you know, let me use Sage Math. Let me use this as a glorified calculator. So it's going to be two times my uh, initials, or not initial speed, this is the speed of the speeding car, 38, 
uh, meters per second. And all the units are consistent, so I can just do the numerical calculation without converting any units. Divide by 4 meters per second squared. So when you do that, you get 19, oh, exactly. So 19 seconds will be the time there. It's as though they <laughs> probably randomly generated the 19 seconds first and then uh, worked the parameters backward. So yeah, that's the answer. The, it takes the police 19 seconds to catch up to the speeding car. And actually, if you plug in this uh, uh, number into the expression for the speed of the police car, so you know the expression for the uh, speed of the police car would be the speed of the police will be uh, initial speed plus AT. And when you plug in time here, you will find that the police is going at 76 miles per second by the time he catches up, which, you know, it, it, this is not a realistic scenario. Um, but um, that's how the equations here work out. So I don't think a police cruiser, so 76 meters per second, that's like 150 miles per hour. Maybe they can do that. I have some doubts. It's definitely not safe to be going at 150 miles per hour.